Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 27th of 2025 is titled Two Tales of Comet Lemon. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see Comet Lemon, and it may look like it has three tails here. We can see the very distinct ion tail or plasma tail going straight back and a long ways towards the lower right of the image. And we can see the dust tail curving a little bit around a little bit below that. However, there appears to be a third tail here that stretches across the sky, which is actually completely unassociated with the comet. Now, what that is called a persistent meteor train, and it is actually the trail of a meteor. Now, why is it so irregular in shape? Meteors usually follow a straight line path across the sky. Well, this is there for a few seconds and then is a affected by winds in the Earth's upper atmosphere. So it will be changed in its position because of the winds at various levels, and that will cause it to disperse. And we can see how it's kind of stretching out here and changing its position over time. Now, the train does not last for a very long period of time. It is actually the gas and dust in the atmosphere and disperses a few seconds after a relatively bright meteor flashes by. So how do you plan to get one? Well, honestly, you can't. They're, you're never going to know exactly where one will occur, and to have the one occur around the location of a comet is just coincidence and luck that you happen to get one that appeared at this positioning. And that's because you can pick out times when meteors are going to be more common. You can look during the time of a meteor shower and have a better chance of being able to see a meteor in the sky and to be able to see the train a persistent train afterwards, but you could never predict exactly where in the sky it would be. And that's because these particles are just too small to be able to track. We have no idea when a meteor specifically will occur. Yes, we can predict meteor showers and estimate maybe how many you'll get to see each hour, but we can't tell you when any given meteor will cross across a certain part of the sky. And that's just because, again, they're small particles. Most of them are dust grains or grains of sand. Maybe some of the bigger ones are little pebbles that are burning up in Earth's atmosphere. But to actually see those, they're invisible until they strike Earth's atmosphere and start showing their trail. So they're not something that can be predicted accurately the way we can predict the path of a comet, for example, as it starts to appear. Now, we know we can't predict the brightness of a comet well, but Comet Lemon has been getting relatively brighter and still remains visible in the northwest sky shortly after sunset. So this one's seen a few days ago, but you can pick out the comet, although it's still better with a pair of binoculars or using a camera to take an exposure in that direction to try to pick up the comet in the image there. That works because you take a slightly longer exposure with your camera, and that brings out details that your eyes would not be able to see. So that was our picture of the day for October 27th of 2025. It was titled, Two Tales of Comet Lemon, We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Bat Sign. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.